well, secretive and elite. The Bilderberg, Bilderberg Group unites the world's most powerful people behind closed doors. It's been happening for decades, and this year, it's in Chantilly, Virginia, at the Marriott Hotel. The secrecy surrounding the conference has sparked many theories as to what exactly goes on in the meetings. Some even believe it's a venue where the world's most rich and powerful conspire to carve out a new world order. RT correspondent Abby Martin was in Chantilly, Virginia today to let us know what's happening outside of the Bilderberg Conference and joins us now to tell us all about it. Abby, nice to see you. you. Um, so we have a lot of powerful people all in one room. Happens all the time. So what's all the fuss about? I think the fuss is especially about this meeting. Um, it's different than other meetings because there is no corporate press coverage. We see a lot of meetings happening. We just saw NATO, G8. Um, it seems like everyone in the world knows about that. And there's tons of press, tons of protests. But unlike the Bilderberg Group, or like the Bilderberg Group, <laughs> let me say that again, the Bilderberg Group, Bilderberg group um, doesn't have any press. There's no press releases. There's no official attendee. Um, press release out there, so no one really knows who it is that attends or what they're talking about. And um, so you were there uh, outside. I know you couldn't get too close, um, but you. I, uh, there were protests. I understand. What exactly are they protesting? They're protesting the egregious violation of federal law. There's a there's an act called the Logan Act, which says that you cannot meet with foreign diplomats without congressional oversight. And I think that that's really the main key here is people are like, hold on, why are there 130 of the most powerful world players in banking, mining, oil, food, media, defense, and politics? Why are they all getting together and meeting in secrecy behind closed doors without any congressional oversight or really any awareness of what it is they're talking about? Now, we have the, some of the most powerful people in the world, so you can presume that something is happening, something important is kind of brewing, but we don't know what. Um, and, and that's kind of bred a lot of theories. Um, do we know what they could be uh, talking about? Well, I think, I think some theories have arisen because of things like the Euro, um, the North American Union, these, these policies that have kind of been presented right after the Bilderberg Group that people kind of speculate, hold on, were these things theorized in this meeting? And you saw in 2008 um, when Obama infamously kind of skirted his press corps, which is with him 24-7, onto another plane and um, said that he was going to be meeting with Hillary in Virginia, multiple meetings with multiple people, and it was never really disclosed what was happening. And then right after that, we saw that she was, just, you know, um, the, the, a very high position in his cabinet. So people speculate, you know, who is, what's going on at these meetings? Are these powerful political players being picked for policy positions? And it's just completely unknown to the public. And so people are speculating that this year, um, like every year in the past, they think that they're conspiring or maybe theorizing on how to control the Occupy Wall Street movement, control the Arab Spring movement, um, and how to control the currency. And I think that's what people are really worried about. And so, um, you know, since, since people can come in and they can't hear what they're talking about, it is a lot of speculation, um, a lot of the theories that you just mentioned. But uh, is there any evidence to back up these suspicions or to back up these claims? Uh, there's no hard evidence other than what David Rockefeller and uh, also people in the Bilderberg Group have, have come out and said. I mean, all you can do is look at the members who have attended. There are leaks, there are moles inside Bilderberg every year that kind of put out um, things that were talked about, even though they're sworn to secrecy. Media moguls who go there are sworn to secrecy, but things do come out. And they talk about, you know, they, they release to the public what is being talked about and what is being said. And what these people say when they're confronted by independent journalists, you know, what was said there, what do you guys do there? They just say, oh, well, we just meet and talk. The problem about that is, I mean, when do 130 of the world's most powerful people just get together and just talk and have beers? I mean, there's, they talk about policy and they talk about things that affect the entire world. Um, so the evidence really is the policies that we see after these meetings being implemented. And you just have to look at the people who are involved and what comes out of it. And it's really all speculation. But then again, um, is it? I mean, right. it's really... Uh, it's well, the buzz this year is Marco Rubio. Um, that That's what they're kind of talking about behind closed doors, that he... Uh, will be the pick for the um, Romney's running mate. Uh, any word about that while you were there? 
No word about that. People have been speculating that, and we'll definitely see what happens. I mean, we know that John Edwards was picked after attending the Bilderberg Group in 2004, um, and then he was picked as John Kerry's running mate. So people have said, you know, did they handpick him to really run it? I mean, it is really interesting, and we see in David Rockefeller's memoir, he says, if people charge me for running a secret cabal, um, I stand proud of it, and I hold those charges to be true. I mean, against American interests. He said this himself, and he is an integral member. He is the member of the Bilderberg Steering Committee that handpicks these 130 people every year, and it's kind of like they're shining stars of who they think that they could really pursue whatever it is they feel they need to. Mm. So today is day one of the Bilderberg Conference. Uh, what's next? Um, any big protests? Are they expected to grow in the coming days as this plays out? Yeah, absolutely. This is the first year, I think, where Occupy Wall Street and kind of the anti-New World Order crowd have really joined forces. And so we see the Occupy Bilderberg movement happening. We see hundreds of people that were out there today, which was really interesting because it's early Thursday and it's only expected to grow. Alex Jones came out there with his bullhorn right when I was uh, taking off back to the studios and he just told me, he said, you know, he expects thousands of people, especially on Saturday and Sunday when people are not um, at work and are able to show up. So it should no, be very on Alex Jones to shake things <laughs> up, that's exactly. for sure. Abby, thanks for keeping us updated. That was RT correspondent Abby Martin.